Hey, what's up traders? Uh, Dave Fix Hunter here. I hope you all having a great trading week. We have a perfect setups forming right now. As uh, I already said uh, on the weekly preview, uh, many of the pairs are right now in the profit taking phase. So what does it mean? That means that um, actually the markets already moved this year. You know, if you look to the market structure, you can see some psychosis, you know, and uh, this year already this happened. And uh, I think now is the time to take a profit. So it's happening on the Kiwi, it's happening on the Aussie, Euro, uh, the Pound getting weak, and uh, JPY getting strong, and the USD, I think it is going to show the power. But this video is not about this. It's about my update of the amazing trading tool I actually introduced a couple months ago, and here's the upgrade. So what it actually does, uh, basically if you preparing your trading analysis based on whatever and then you want to place a trade, always you must calculate the position size, you know, your risk and prepare everything. So uh, I already introduced the thing which can help you to project uh, your uh, trade idea and it calculates the lot size. Uh, per your risk it actually it actually can as well the move the stop loss to the break even when it reach certain amount of the profit uh, in the percentage as well it can close the partial part of your positions so it has uh, some more functions as for example you can set up the target for example if your account is a 10k and you have running trades that you decide that you want to close everything on the 11k you just fill up 11k when it reach 11k it will close all the trades how cool is that right and now i actually and not me my quarter which is uh, the guy who's doing the best work uh, on the based on what i'm trying to think that is good and that's uh, gonna make my life easy uh, basically all this tool i'm making for myself to make my life uh, easy not to you know to for the others to bring attention to myself i'm doing it for myself and i'm using it you know so uh now i'm actually sharing it uh, with you and i think you will like this so i will show you in this video what you can do and how you can download it you can find a link below this video how to download it and install it right so this video it's not gonna be about this you must know how to do it it's not that difficult and uh, we are not small kids so i will not be explaining that again i have explained it a thousand times so if someone will ask me how to download it i will simply send you the video you know um, uh, anyway let's go uh, have a look at it so okay okay my friends so let's check uh, to through some basic functions of uh, this tool what i want to talk about so it's basically this uh, risk management tool right so if you set up your uh, my template uh, on your chart you should be looking at something similar this is a little bit adjusted because i'm of course still developing what's working the best for me and of course in the future i will share it with you Mm, but it's all ready because I'm currently working on some uh, other updates. But right now, let's look through what this risk management tool can do for us. So basically, uh, let's assume that we want to enter the long, uh, for example, here on this uh, on this lows, because probably stop losses could be, uh, you know, taken out, and this is where we want to enter. But this video is not about the strategy, right? Let's say that I want to enter here on the buy limit, so I'm going to simply place my mouse here, and there, when I push the B on my keyboard, it will brings me this trade projection, right? trade projection. And here in the right corner, what I'm seeing, I'm seeing the risk 1% per, per trade and the suggested lot side is 13.22 uh, uh, lots stop loss, 33 pips, which is $2,974, take profit 65 pips, which is $5,094. Uh, right now if i want to adjust that simply i can click on here on this line and i can simply scroll my take profit uh, higher and drop it right so then it recalculates the projected profit if i want to 
uh, have a bigger stop loss I can simply drop it a little bit lower and it will recalculate my risk uh, my loss right then what's the thing uh, what's the actually the real advantage of this uh, what we can do you know sometimes you do your preparations in somewhere and you can set uh, your trade uh, for example if you do it on the trading view you want to place some exact numbers and what was quite difficult is to set it exactly where you want to right or if you're using my signals or whatever so what now we can have here so if you if you have this uh, simply like this you must mark it up like that and then you click adjust and now when we have this adjust what I can do I can basically set up this open price like that so let's say I want to change it to the 1.06 right and I click set look and it changed my opening price a bit higher right uh, let's say I want to change uh, my take profit to the 1.7 let's say 1.07 I want to change my stop loss to the 1.05 right something like that or maybe uh, it doesn't matter it's just on this group so 1.4 let's say and I click set and look how it changed automatically where my trade will be open right so this is all nice you know we all like it perfect this is how uh, our trade and the risk management is projected but in the past we had to activate the trade by clicking this face right then it gets into the pink number pink color and the trade is acti actually activated if the price drops down the trade will be activated but we had to have it on our VPS currently look the new thing so uh, let me move this a bit lower because it's actually my life account and I just don't want to enter right now so like this so I have the trade activated and now I'm going to click this pending thing here and look what's gonna happen boom I click the pending and look the trade is placed here with the suggested lots stop loss and take profit right cool right isn't it so currently the trade is placed here so what actually i can set up as well look i'll leave the ea and this tool on my chart and i push f7 and right now i have the trade management so we trade by the risk percent right our risk per trade is a one percent that's what we use you can of course change it to the let's say 0.5 or whatever right uh, that it's up to you but what I can set up in here is as well this uh, slippage for the entry. It's used only if you use it as an EA, not if you're placing it like that. Then the slippage is on the broker. But what I can as well change is the percentage of profit for the partial close. So for example, if my if my take profit is here and it's a 113 pips, and let's say I wanna close the partial prof or partial of the position, which is the 50%. Let's say I wanna close it uh, on the uh, half of the way, so I will simply set up 0 0.5, and if the price reach the uh, half of this TP distance, which is uh, currently 113 pips, so it, if it will reach 65 pips, it will close uh, my uh, half of the profit this one is a risk reward ratio for moving stop loss to the break even so currently if I want to move it in the 80% of the distance to the target let's say 0.8 I will set it up like this right here is the spread multiplier for the moving to the break even this means that uh, if this risk reward uh, if this if the price reach 80% of the target and the stop loss will be moved into the break even 10 pips into the profit right how cool is that right so it's very cool I think right now we have all these things here on the platform what we can as well see in here is uh, one pretty good thing we are seeing all these uh, currently running trades right so right now i can switch to the different uh, platform different instrument by clicking just here the aussie where i have been doing something right so i have the short in here and the same thing you know if i want to go short i simply set it up like this then i can activate the trade you know like that 
and uh, I can place it into the platform but I will not be adding the trade uh, here not, not interested currently because I already have two lots in here running so yeah I think it's pretty good uh, as well what you can do is uh, look here is a couple of hidden functions so if you write here fx hunter wealth look fx hunter wealth and um, not fx hunter but it was actually and we must go to the previous one let's go here Uh, it was this look if I write here the hunter it will hide all the things which I don't want to see in here right so it's more clear currently right but this still works and it's here so I can now hide this if you want to but the trade is still placed here so I can uh, simply of course uh, delete it because I don't want to play it right now this one so I have these two running trades in here okay my friends so i hope you like it of course download it and uh, if you have any questions uh, simply uh, write me the uh, on the some questions on my website in the in the or below or simply comment below this video your questions all right mm -hmm.